uh, Hema Malidji, Namaste. My guest passed to you. Am I reaching uh, you? Yes, Bhaiya. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. So, uh, I will briefly put your introduction and you can place your sharing within 20 minutes. Today. Yes, Bhaiya. Thank you. Yes. Dr. V. Hema Malini Inkadeshan Ji is an assistant professor of SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Katanakulathur, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. She completed her introductory USV during uh, December 2022 through online and USV 2 uh, during May, June 2023 in-house FTP. And she's volunteering in the department USV activities as a coordinator in the department. And she's a core team member in SRMIST USV cell. She's supporting all activities of UHV activities with the university coordinator. So with this, I uh, welcome Hema Maliji for the sharing in the morning session. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Baya. Uh, namaste to each and every one of you present in this online forum. And in-depth gratitude and namaste especially to Sharmila Didi, Sunil Baya and Tara Prasanna Baya. Myself, Hema Malini Venkatesan. Currently working as assistant professor at SRMIST KTR Campus Chennai. My initial exploration of UHV started only because of Dr. Supraja, who was at the time exploring herself and creating awareness after attending a UHV2 session. And now she is the university coordinator for SRMIST all campuses. It was Dr. Supraja's speech, I could say, that ignited spark in my mind to attend the introductory workshop of UHV, uh, where I was able to analyze what mistakes I was doing at my house and at workplace. With that online session attended, I uh, wanted to develop myself still by attending the face-to-face -face workshop, which was fully implemented by our organization and that too by the initiation of Supracha Didi only. And at this point, uh, I wanted to artfully thank Umesh Baya, who kindled my mind, thoughts, uh, desire, and behavior in many ways. Uh, he was the resource person for that in-house FDP when I, when I was attending during May, June 2023. It was during that time I felt so uh, emotional wherein I decided to attend this morning session. Uh, initially, I hesitated uh, to attend only due to the timing because uh, it was during this 5.30 to 6.30 a.m., which was my peak cooking time, after which my husband packs all the stuffs, both for myself and my kids. And after that, uh, we have to rush to, I mean, I have to rush to college and my kids have to go to school at the same time. But still then, uh, due to the mere encouragement of our university co-coordinator, Dr. Infanta Ma'am, and our EN coordinator, uh, Mrs. Kavita Sri Saranman, and obviously due to the motivation of uh, our Supraja Didi, uh, this, I mean, they were the reason behind who made me to attend this session. Yeah. Um, so once I started attending this morning session, I realized many things out of boundary. Uh, so coming directly to the exercise, um, in exercise one, I can see that I am conscious and able to observe myself and imagination. So for this question, yes, I can now clearly understand my internal observation. I can feel what my desire is and what I am expecting from others and how my thoughts are varying moment to moment. I can relate this with my elder son because uh, coming to my family, uh, I have two kids. And my mother-in-law, she is staying uh, separate. I mean, separately in the sense, our native is Pondicherry. She is staying over there. But we have come to Chennai here uh, due to our work reason and everything. Uh, recently, it was three years uh, uh, before. Uh, so here, coming after year, I could see uh, dramatic changes with my both of my son. It's only due to the environment. I can say the school place and also. Uh, the friends uh, in and around him. Um, so uh, reaching his adolescent stage, what happens is that frequently uh, myself and my son would be having a frequent uh, arguments uh, in, in each and everything I can say. Uh, coming to my younger son, uh, he actually uh, understands whatever I feel and whatever I actually, uh, I mean, go through 
the job as well as uh, like well, I I like he understands I am balancing between the job as well as uh, between my family situation. So what happens is that my elder son he actually uh, he don't cares about uh, myself. It's it's not like he's not caring, but he's not able to understand like how mama is going through. Uh, uh, I mean, the nature of job, the work, as well as how she is coming here and doing all sorts of work. So in simple, simple thing, uh, um, in my situation, like I wanted my home to be very clean. So this part uh, uh, on my side, I can understand that it's, uh, it's like I'm very much concentrated only on making the household clean, all that. But whenever they are coming and playing, uh, immediately I would look at the mat I mean I would look at their leg and see whether they are clean coming from outside my younger one would actually understand like uh, okay if I go, uh, in a dirty leg inside the house uh, mama won't like so he understand that he uh, he actually cleans his uh, washes his uh, uh, leg uh, in the apartment downside itself and he comes back but whereas my elder son even repeating so many times, he what he does is he comes and stand in the mat with, with his dirty uh, leg only. And like this small, small things after uh, uh, bathing is a towel, he, it, all the, I mean, the towel, which is wet towel would be in some place. He won't make it dry. And uh, the all the old cloths, old cloth, he won't be uh, uh, damping it inside the, the I mean, the basket the uh, cloth basket he just um, uh, makes lay wherever uh, i mean uh, in the bed or something like that and after eating he won't be he, he doesn't washes the plate he'll be requesting can you wash this plate but my younger son what he does is okay he knows that he, mama's tired so after eating he goes washes his utensils so in such a way actually i started differentiating both of these kids and i always get anger and I, and I always shout at him and what I do is at certain point I would either uh, otherwise evaluate him or otherwise evaluate him so this is what I will do and when he does this thing at some point when he's not doing also I would be again shouting at him for the mistake which he has not done so uh so at this point also, I wanted to say that in, with respect to study also, my younger one does his best. But my elder one, if it is coming to the study part, he won't do it by himself. Rather, myself and my husband have to shout again and again and again. We have to make him, we have to pressurize him because now he's studying in 10th standard. So hardly two months or something for the public exam. So always we... Uh, we are concerned about not about the marks we just wanted to make him pass that so that is our main motivation so we have uh, 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 i mean a uh, wrong uh, assumption or the preconditioning we were not able to analyze what he required so actually our thought, desire were changing time to time uh, with respect to him what can we do uh, after the 10th, whether he will pass. So if he is passing, can we uh, again make him to continue with the 11th and 12th standard? Or what can we do after this 10th? Or can we put him in diploma? So we, so so as the UHV teaches me, the desire uh, is changing for us. And likely the thought is also varying. And we are, go the imagination is actually going around and around. But we are not, sitting um i mean we, we usually sit uh, besides him uh, if it, if not me at least my husband would sit beside him and he will be uh, uh, advising him again and again because the characteristics and everything the attitude he shows it's not relating with myself or with my husband because you know, during that days when we were studying in school what happened like we we came across different uh, difficulties we came across different understand uh, i mean situations where we where we were putting hard work and everything but nowadays these kids since they are not going through all those um I mean, all those difficulties, they take up 
everything as granted and they are not even if uh, uh, if we, if they are uh, getting some materialistic things they are not able to understand even this is coming from the effort of my parents because both of them are uh, uh, rushing for the uh, rushing only for these uh, two kids i mean uh, rushing for us so it it happened like that but on our part also i mean on my part also i actually understand that i shouldn't um, uh, i mean uh, very i mean i shouldn't uh, just like that uh, change my uh, desire i mean it's not like changing the desire because as a human being we have different different desire which is which is changing time to time and all that but i understood that i should first understand myself i have to explore myself like what uh, exactly uh, my i mean my uh, uh, elder son is thinking about and what is his uh, actual need so actually i correlated with this so uh, yeah i actually now understand my internal observation i'm trying to understand my internal observation and i'm focusing on it and uh, am i able to observe the feeling which is naturally acceptable to me of which i want to continue yeah i'm as i said i'm observing myself when i am helping others even though it is not necessary to help others but my natural acceptance says to help others because nothing is going to get lost when i am helping others but i am accepting the feeling of relationship i am happy if i do so but if i am opposing someone then i can realize that it is disturbing me a lot which is not my natural acceptance uh, this also i can correlate with my elder son uh, because whenever we used to fight with each other we both of them are really disturbed and you know like he is just studying 10 but once we we are with the argument he actually won't come and speak to me which disturbs me a lot wherein i go to my husband and i would actually feel emotionally and i'll say like see how he has grown up and he, and he's speaking to me like this and uh, obviously he also won't speak to me and then i tend to go and speak to him and uh, after attending this uhb uh, session then i actually change myself so i go to him so i go to him i i actually uh, speak to him openly and i actually analyze like i sh- i actually shouldn't have spoken like that and it's bad on me having a otherwise evaluation and otherwise evaluation so i started uh, um, understanding myself and and actually i understood that naturally so this is not my natural acceptance i analyze that this is not my natural acceptance and i am trying to change um as much as possible so with these natural feeling um am i in harmony with it am i in state of happiness within so when i am helping others i am i am doing it naturally without ex- expecting anything in return from them because i don't expect anything from them so i can see with these natural feeling i am okay i am in harmony like even when i can relate this to my neighbor what happens is that uh, every each and every day actually i have the habit of uh, lighting the lamp outside after 6 o'clock and even uh, having this uh, this udubatti uh, stick outside so what happened in opposite my neighbors who is op- opposite to me like we live in an apartment so we have a neighbor opposite so she come uh, she actually has uh, stared at uh, the lamp the lamp is actually uh, it's pretty good when we look at it so what happens uh, uh, like what happened uh, she uh, uh, she saw it and she was asking like where did you buy this it's actually good i tried buying this and uh, so uh, so i can see the spark on her uh, face and uh, 
understanding that what happened i bought her and i gave it to her surprisingly and uh, she was very happy and uh, she asked the how, how much did it cost i said cost is not, but now you are happy so really i am happy for that and uh, uh, since you actually wanted this eagerly i bought it for you so i can feel the harmony within me so this is what the natural acceptance so i uh, actually realized it so i myself decide Uh, the feeling that I have, which means I am responsible for my own happiness or unhappiness, and I actually state that I am completely responsible. Yes, hundred percentage. Whatever is happening to me, I am the sole responsible. Uh, I could see moment to moment, uh, my thoughts and imagination varies. So, ah, uh, I say that I am responsible for the feel. and externally i may show some face but internally my feel would be different because my thoughts my desire is changing time to time i can get over complaining about others i become willing to make effort for my self development for my own transformation this i can relate to uh, almost all the sunday nights on the friday friday night which is a uh, uh, i mean the next day is saturday so i can relate with the sunday night a uh, differentiate between the sunday night and the friday night or some holiday night what happens is that when it is coming to a friday night so my thought is that okay tomorrow's holiday i am relaxed so i don't want to hurry up everything in the kitchen and i i don't i like what happens is that each and every sunday night or during the weekdays monday tuesday night i wanted to finish up everything in the kitchen so that i go sit prepare for my next day's class or else if there is any department work i have to go prepare for that so that i'll go early to bed but what happens my son as i said both of them they'll be coming very leisurely after playing um usually they go for the tuition um between uh, 6 to 8 or 8:30 and when they come back they don't come directly to the house rather they go uh, play in the park they play basketball and then they will be coming my elder son but he keeps up the timing he'll come by 8:30 because he has to attend an online session online classes in tamil but my younger son always the timing he started with 8:30 coming to 8:30 then 8:30 change to 8:45 then it change to 9 And then it changed to nine fifteen. So till nine thirty, he won't be coming. So I'll get irritated, frustrated because only for him, he'll I'll be sitting back so that I have to wind up the kitchen, everything, and then go back. So usually, uh, when it is Sunday night or during the weekday night week weekdays, I'll be in a hurry. So whatever, uh, uh, I mean whatever, uh, uh, rest necessity. my husband or my children has i won't be uh, uh, replying them i usually i react with them i won't respond because i my imagination my thoughts what's going to happen next i have to study next i have to prepare next i have to do my department work what will be happening tomorrow with the, when i am not doing this so this goes on but when it is coming to friday night i will be relaxed and also i can relate to uh, during my pmd uh, mood swings which causes during the pmdd that is uh, during the premenstrual dysphoric disorder i can clearly uh, differentiate me like four days or five days before this pmdd i get irritated actually i don't know why because due due to the hormonal changes uh, before this uh, during this pmdd time something they'll be asking my either my husband or my kids they'll be asking anything which is normal uh, to find out something which is not uh, they are not able to figure it out or they are not able to find it out i will be shouting at them like anything but uh, like i was not in a good uh, i mean uh, i was not able to understand what they are asking why they are asking and i am not able to understand myself but now i am developing my sanskar to bring such situation into normal and continue with my natural acceptance so as i said earlier uh, the the basis of making decision is either understanding or the preconditioning so yeah when uh, the self decide on the basis of understanding 
i am able to choose or i am able to find the natural feeling through my natural acceptance and i am comfortable but i can realize that when i am deciding on the basis of assumption myself is not clear whether i will choose the natural feeling or not so whenever i am assuming something when i whenever i am uh, assuming in a wrong way so whenever the precondition is coming into my mind i can analyze i can feel that i am not doing it in a wrong way i mean sorry sorry i am not doing it in a right way i i am not comfortable i was not comfortable so now i can understand that the decision i take is either due to my right understanding or due to my preconditioning but most of the time now i am just avoiding reacting rather than i am trying to respond so that i am not uh, uh i mean i am not hurting my elder son anymore or my husband anymore on any of the part exploring it actually so i conclude that the feeling of a relationship the harmony within us and the coexistence are really or actually naturally acceptable to me therefore my basic need is to understand relationship between human to human so i am understanding myself with respect to my elder son so harmony within myself as well as coexistence with nature so coexistence with nature is it could be from human to human and human to nature so when i'm talking about the nature i can relate easily with the michong cyclone which happened recently in chennai because we are we have not given harmony to the nature and we were not in coexistence with the nature and due to which drastic uh, flood was flowing through chennai and really it was so much unpredictable those uh, uh four to five days it was really very bad uh, and pathetic situation the nature was showing to us because um, as we say what we sow is what we reap so that is what nature gave to us so by ensuring the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence i will be in a state of happiness uh and i am practicing that that i will be in a state of happiness happiness at each and every moment so ensuring this every moment i will be in a state of continuous happiness and by understanding the relationship harmony and coexistence completely my feeling my thoughts would be naturally in line with the relationship and would be in line with harmony and coexistence and i i am trying to be in a state of continuous happiness so this is my understanding with respect to exercise 1 and coming to exercise 2 uh yeah so in uhv 2 itself i understood the difference between the self and the body so i actually understood that self is our consciousness and body is actually a material or an instrument and i know that self needs happiness it needs prosperity in a continuous manner but whereas the physical facility is actually uh, temporary in time and i know that the uh, i understood that the physical facility is required to keep the body in good health so that right utilization of the body can be ensured i uh, I, i concluded that uh, two important conclusion one is program for the prosperity and program for health so uh, uh, so with respect to the self and body human being is actually coexistence of self and body and the self is central to human existence human existence and body is an instrument of the self so the transaction between the self and body is only in the form of information i can understand that physical facility is required in a limited quantity for nurturing as well as for our protection and right utilization of the body so here the prosperity a uh, prosperity is nothing but feeling of having more than the required sorry to interrupt sorry to interrupt yes. there is a time limitation we have two sharings today yes so please, bhaiya uh, conclude within one or two minutes thank you yes bhaiya i am finishing
so i can feel that uh, self i here is self i am there self is existing the body is also there the body is also existing i can feel i am not only body but body with self which means body and self are coexisting with each other these are two different realities i understand body and self are transacting that is they are connecting each other every time whenever it requires so i understand self is the one who decides self is the doer and passes instructions to the body and what sensation are to be read from the body for example if a fire is burning it is self that instructs the body not to move forward and step back which is done in action by the body in the form of leg so i understand self and body are two different realities so based on the assumption of self and instruction the body is working also while reading the sensation self is not the sensation but self can read the sensation which is taking place in any part of the body from where i am uh, being different from sensation uh, sensation is taste i can say, uh, yeah as we know taste touch see hear smell everything is happening in the body which is read by the self so i can see that self is not sensation only body is sensation uh, for example i am seeing a picture in that picture i may admire the beauty of the color and the art someone else may admire the artistic structure so where to give attention and where to see the picture is instructed by the self my interaction with the body or the world outside is by the way of sensation i read the sensation by decision giving meaning to the sensation my reaction or response depends on my sanskar yes i accept that only self is deciding which action should be given priority when i am doing multiple jobs at same time so when i'm for example i i ta i'm talking in a phone i'm uh, in parallel watching a tv what happened my son was when he was playing he was in a dangerous situation so i captured my attention through i uh, which is instructed by the self which was instructed by the self and i decided to go to my son first so self won't pay attention to the ear then once the instruction through the ear is over when i advise the kid not to do that then i concentrated on hearing and if something interesting happened in the tv again myself switches to tv uh, switches to the eye leaving the attention on the phone so i understand that my sensation is changing according to the self i tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption yes before attending the uhp based on external input that is when my assumption changes frequently the feeling of decision will change between right and wrong and accordingly i would be in a state of happy and unhappy frequent i mean happy and unhappiness frequently changes without frequently changing without harmony but when i started working on the right understanding part i analyzed that i am in a state of harmony i feel the right understanding when i uh, respond rather than to react and obviously if someone had met with a minor accident rather than reacting at that moment self would decide what should be done at that moment that is giving first aid so that we are making possibility reducing the severity so self and body is coexisting in space and in associated with each other so i respond when my sanskar is based on right understanding so most probably almost all the steps i am able to face in my daily scenario by observing self by self is where i see my improvement still i need to explore myself to work with self and body interaction in space by right understanding and evaluation of myself i can feel the happiness within me which is innate in nature and in turn which leads to harmony i understand that no external effect is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness but solely it is only myself i do understand that wrong assumption and precondition preconditioning makes the thought desire and imagination in unfavorable state but when our thoughts and desires according to natural acceptance we lead to a state of harmony and i i'm feeling and exploring it most of the time during this program and trying to continue with this state and i'm trying to develop the right understanding and feeling when i am at workplace but when i am at home i am not able to follow it during certain moments but i shall improve myself and with respect to social responsibility i had already handled uh, students induction program for our first year students for last one year and this year i am going to handle uhv2 and further it will continue 
Apart from that, we had given value education program to UBA adopted schools and planning to do it frequently. Also, I'm attending weekly meeting every Saturday organized by each department in turn and sharing our takeaway. This forum is actually really excellent where real life experiences were shared by each and every one in the meeting. So thanks to Supraja Didi for that. Sometimes earlier I had attended monthly meeting but was not able to continue due to family commitments. But still, when time permits, I shall try to attend the monthly meeting. Also, I do coordinate with almost all the in-house FDP conducted in the organization and share few responsibility, whatever I can do for the betterment of social needs. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone, Didi. for this opportunity given. Thank you, Didi. I request Shamla Didi to give her comments regarding Didi sharing. Didi, over to you. Namaste, uh, Heba Malini ji. Namaste, Didi. Very nice. Uh, I can see, you know, the exploration has begun and uh, a lot of changes you were able to see in your behavior patterns with your family members, with your neighbors. So that's very encouraging. And I'm sure the harmony that you are able to notice with this is very motivating to go on with the exploration. Um, yeah, uh, time is short. I'll just mention that... Um, some things you are able to see, of course, a lot more depth will come as you explore further. You will notice many more deeper um, you know, observations. You will experience them and it will be helpful for looking at you know, the harmony outside, looking at relationship, not just with your family members, not just having um, some, you know, issues or being able to see a difference with few people in the family, but with everybody. So slowly that will happen, that uh, growth will happen. And uh, all the very best for your future explorations. SRM um, is, a, you are at a place where there is a lot of opportunity to be yes. a part of many, many activities. So do continue your uh, um, you know um, exploration also and your um, participation in the college activities um, and I think you will see a lot more growth very quickly it's uh, probably part of your sanskar also that you have very quickly been able to see your feeling you're able to see the shift when you're able to change the feeling so that's very good progress, I would say. Very commendable. And all the very best to you for the onward um, exercise one and two and other. Um, yeah. Yes, Didi. Yeah. Yes, At this point, I would wanted to say that also I am continuing this in my working environment also. But as you said, I am still exploring. I am only little on that. I am exploring and also I am working with, I am coordinating and working with Supraja Didi. That is a big forum. Uh, there are many things to uh, support and organize. Yeah, definitely I will do it. Thank really you. Nice. All the best. 